some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to Joplin, Missouri, where we find the moronic frauditor known as Kansas City Accountability as he attempts to film in the back lot of a post office only to find himself getting trespassed from the property because he just doesn't have two brain cells to rub together to figure out that Poster 7 doesn't give him the right to do so. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking show on the road, shall we? All right, you guys, so when you get around to the back, it says authorized vehicles only, employees parking only, unauthorized vehicles will be ticket towed at owner's expense. So it don't say anything about uh, it say, I didn't see anything about uh, trespassing or employee only. Hey. Sorry, man. You can't. You can't film the back. You can't film inside here. What you mean? Uh, the, for a federal facility, you can't film like inside the back, but you can film the the front lobby where you. Oh, I'm not gonna go in through the back right here. I was just gonna stand right here. Yeah. Just... Yeah. You just can't film like back in here. That's fine though. Yeah. You can. You can stand there. That's yeah. Fine. Yeah. I'm not gonna come in. I'm not touching nothing or. Okay. Yeah. He said, I can't uh, film back here, stick my camera back in here. Now, one would assume with the tinted glass we have here and the door with the combination lock on it, that it would be a restricted access area. But we're dealing with a frauditor here. They're not exactly uh, brain surgeons, are they? Of course, it wouldn't even take a brain surgeon to figure out that kind of concept right there. You just gotta, gotta have common sense, and unfortunately, most frauditors don't have that at all. All right. All right, you guys, I don't see any signs. So, uh, we, we, we don't come in. Cause I don't see any signs. As I mentioned before with common sense, common sense would say that this gate here would represent a barrier that you would not be allowed to cross. And then additionally, the assumption would be that you're, you're not a vehicle, but you're still not exactly allowed in this area. But yeah, he's not a vehicle, so he should be allowed in there. Yeah, okay, whatever, dude. Yeah, go ahead and get yourself trespassed, you gibbering idiot. Eventually. Shit. Record. Uh, it's just whatever I can see from public. What'd you say? Whatever I can see from public. What you mean, what you gotta see from public? Why are you trying to record, though? Just, just recording. Is that okay? No, I don't think you can over here, but it's, it ain't no issue with me, bro. Yeah, yeah. How long they usually got y'all out working? My regular work day? No, no, like how long and like when y'all get... Because I be seeing the mail, the, the delivery drivers are still out after five. Yeah, that's still the regular work day. Ah. Uh. What's the latest people come in? Like mail, mail delivery drivers. Come in at eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Okay. Okay. That's what's up. This a YouTube video or something? Uh, no. I just do stories. I try to, you know, go around, just record and put a story together, man. Yeah. Yes, sir. Why do you seem so shocked that uh, postal workers would be out so late delivering mail? Do you know what that's called? That's called having a job. And that's something, well, just about everybody does, except for frauditors who are pretty much unemployable because of their vast criminal records that they often have. So I guess it's quite understandable that they would be in awe or shock of uh, anybody staying up late doing a job. It must be an incredible sight to behold to see somebody trying to make a living. Ask you to exit if you don't mind, please. You said this is private. I mean, this is for post employees. 
I seen over there it said for postal employees. It was it was no sign where I came in at. Well, that one is and this one as well. This is where our postal uh, employees parked. Oh yeah, I didn't I didn't bring no car in here. I'm not parking. I'm, I'm actually just walking around on foot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right. and I'm not gonna be long. I'm just gonna be like you know, y'all only open for another thirty mm -hmm. minutes, right? Yeah. Okay. You know, I wonder if this complete idiot thinks that Poster 7 allows him to do this. Uh, Poster 7 doesn't say anything about the loading docks of a post office, now does it? It says, well, basically you've got to have permission of the postmaster head to film in many of the locations of a post office, you doofus. Yeah, you can't video back here, man. Well, why is that? Because it's a federal facility. See, that's why they have their barbed wire around the fence and everything. Uh huh. Because it's a federal facility. Because you over over here, I seen some signs that yeah. said uh, authorized uh, parking for employees. Right. And right. but when I walked in right here, it was nothing. Right. Now there's a gate there. You can see the, the barbed wire and the fencing. I got I got to ask you to leave because it's a federal facility back here. Yeah, yeah. I told him I wasn't going to be long. I was just uh, getting a couple shots, working on the story. Is there anything good you want to say about your establishment? Yeah, it's a wonderful place. It's wonderful. a wonderful place. How long have oh, yeah. you been working for the uh, post office? For a while. For a few years. Over 10? I, I got to ask you to leave, though, man. Come on. Let's, let's, yeah, I'll, man, just I'll, let me I'll, get I'll my few up. shots, man. I'm not going to be long, man. Yeah. It's a federal facility, and it's it's my job to, to make sure that, that people who aren't employed here don't come into the grounds of the federal facility. Oh yeah, again, like I told you on the other side, I'm not going to, I have no intent or going inside your, uh... But, but this, this is considered, that's why there's barbed wire, that's why you see the barbed wire on the fence. Gates, signs, fences, and barbed wire don't mean jack squat to somebody who has no common sense and really a low ability to read anything. He's not educated enough to understand any of these things. You gotta treat this guy like he's a kindergartner. You gotta hold him by the hand and lead him out of there. Uh huh. So this is considered that part. So is, is, get, come, if you'll if you'll follow me, man, I'll just walk down. Yeah, yeah. Just just give me a second, man. Just a couple more shots right here, and then I'll I'll, I'll be almost ready, man. Uh, just real quick. And it's it's. I, uh, are you a postmaster? No. You're not a postmaster. Okay, so I, I guess I don't expect you to know that. Is he a postmaster? I don't expect him to know that. No. Uh. Are you familiar with uh, Poster 7? Yeah. Your? Man, I, 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 we've already told you that this is federal ground, so. That, that's actually what yeah. gave me the right to right. record on it. Your, your, your rights are in the lobby there. That's why, you know, when you're filming up there, that's, you know, we have no problem with that. But once you come into the facility here, that's, that's when it's considered that you, that where you're not allowed at, so. Okay. I, I didn't, again, sorry, I didn't see Even that one over there that said the, uh, it said it said uh, authorized vehicle and employees parking only. I can walk in there as well. I just can't park a car in there. Well, wow, your reading comprehension skills are marvelous to say the least. Too bad they're not marvelously great. They're marvelously incompetent considering that Poster 7 does not give you permission to do any of this crap, you dumbass. You're not, it doesn't say that you have permission to uh, walk around the uh, employee parking lot or in the back, you idiot. Man, oh man, these frauders can be real nut jobs and ignoramuses at times, am I right? A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, sir, I'm Officer Kellison. How you doing, sir? They want you to leave the property and not return. But you know they can't do that on yes, public can. property. Can I get a supervisor here, please? Supervisor, please. 223 to 220, please request your supervisor. Yes, this is public property, let's, sir. In the meantime, let's go walk over here. Real quick, so I can show you property. something. So I can show you something real quick. But this is public property. I understand that, but There's, they still have the right to, to not, permit not, or prevent people from coming to the property, especially if they have no reason to be here. Minus no crime. I did. I had two things here. One, I came to uh, exercise my right to record in public. Well, and and I, two, I came to get a... Uh, I came to get a passport application for a first timer. I spoke with the guy in there. The issue came right here. Come here real quick, you guys. Hey, you dumbass frauditor. Can you point something out for me? Because I'm a little uh, lost on this concept that you frauditors keep on pointing out. Where does it say in any state law regarding trespassing that you have to commit a crime 
prior to be tra being trespassed because I have read so many of the damn statutes throughout the country that uh, I seem to be missing it somehow. I mean, is there some statute that you guys have that isn't available to the public or anything like that? Because I surely haven't seen it. Many, many minutes later. Okay. And then when I came over here, the gate was open and I just walked in there just, just to record. Uh, I do stories, what? so and, and the guy, he asked me to leave. I told him I have every right to be here, and was he the postmaster? Because I told him, you guys don't even have jurisdiction here. They have their own postal police. So I was kind of shocked. But they can still say that they don't want somebody on the property. I talked to the supervisor that was... Oh, yeah, they can say that, but, you know, it, it, it don't mean anything, you know, minus a crime. Well, the crime becomes when you refuse to leave the property. From public. It doesn't matter if it's it's accessible to the public. It doesn't make it public. Property. No, no, this is we're going for a supervisor, sir. Is it, I can see you, you guys are not informed. Private property. Private property. No, United States is, is, is public, sir. It's owned by the government. It is private property. Sir, it's public. It's okay, man. Okay, well, they said they don't want you on the property, so let's go over here just so we're off the property. Oh, so you're calling everybody here misinformed and everything like that. Uh, yeah, dude, you know what that's called? projection because you are the one that's grossly misinformed and you're the one that is misinforming everybody in the public yeah you're the one who's guilty of that uh, can, can we wait for your supervisor she's coming but in the meantime let's, let's they, let's they never said they wanted me off the property they called me to tell me to tell you that no he told me just to move from back there not told him i will move back here until you guys come and i understand that but i just did you go solicit a trespass did you go in there and say hey do you want him trespass i absolutely did that's soliciting a trespass. No, it's not. I asked, what do they want me to do? They said that they didn't want you to return to the property. You, so let me ask you this. Did you ask him, hey, so do you want him trespass from here? Did you say those words? I said, do you want me to remove or issue him a trespass warning? Sir, sir that is, okay. Where That's, you got the police department in? We, I'm not doing this with you. I'm very I'm familiar asking, with how you've done this. You've done this multiple times. Oh, okay. You know exactly it's 10 Northeast Tudor Road. You I, I've never exactly. been there. I've never been there. But I know several officers have told you that. But I've never been here, sir. I've I, I never been here. You've been to Lee Summit before. I've never been to you guys' post office. I mean, uh, but, uh, PD, police department. But I know that every time, at least every time that I'm aware that one of our officers has talked to you, they've told you that it's at 10 Northeast Tudor Road. They never said that. You know, for Auditor, it becomes a real display of your lack of character when the police know how you are around here. When they can spot you and tell, yeah, this guy is a troublemaker and he does this kind of thing all the damn time with the same exact result every single time. That is a freaking crying ass shame that you have sunk to this low. That you are known in your local area as a troublemaker. Oh my god. Goodness, dude, how pathetic are you? I've, I've seen videos where they've told you that. I say, where's your poli police officer? They say it's south. I say, can I walk here? They never gave an address. 10 Northeast Tudor Road. Thank you so much, sir. What's your issue? I come in peace. And if you see my videos, you know I come in peace, man. I didn't have an issue, but you were hey, asking but the same questions over But, but over you know again. I come in peace if you see my work. But you're not wanting to step across off their property to say they don't want you here. This I understand is, you want to wait for the public. supervisor. Yes, sir, because this is it's public. It's accessible to the public. Doesn't mean that the public can do whatever they want on the property. So let me ask you this. If I don't leave off this property, what will happen? Well, if they want to prosecute, you would go to jail for it. If I don't, you telling me right now I need to leave. If I, I don't leave, said what? if they wanted to okay. prosecute for it. Okay. I haven't asked them that. I asked okay. if they wanted me to have you leave the property. Okay. That's a listen and a trespass. I don't know where y'all get that in you, in you guys' playbook because uh, Officer Ken did the same thing. Officer Ken did the same thing. You can't go in and say, hey, do you want him trespass? Dude, can you provide a citation where it actually says that it's against the law for the police to solicit a trespass? Because, well, I haven't ever seen that either. And uh, you frauditors keep on saying it, but I've certainly never seen it on any uh, of the statutes I've seen regarding trespassing, that's for sure. So can you, uh, can you point it out where we can all see it for once? That way we know you're telling the truth. And, and, and check this out. They According can't even. To who? They can't even do that though, According man. To who? You can't by law. Trespass laws, man. It, if you remain on a property that you're not okay. wanted on, it okay. turns into a criminal trespass. Okay, man. 
This is public though. It doesn't, it's accessible. It's the same thing as Walmart. It's accessible to the public, but somebody owns it's that okay. building. It's okay. Yeah, y'all run the same playbook because uh, when it, uh, the guy you work with, he tried to do the same thing on the public sidewalk. The same thing you're doing here. I'm saying, hey, sir, I'm on a public. This isn't a public sidewalk. No, I'm, I'm giving you an example. The it's same, not, but you're the same apple plan. and oranges. This is you're public. On property this they, is public. They don't want you I was on the public sidewalk. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But you're on property that is owned by a government entity, and they don't want you here. They have entrusted the supervisor with the property who doesn't want you on the property. Yes, sir. You just don't understand. It's no, okay. I think that you're not understanding because I'm trying to explain it to you. Do you understand federal property is public property? State property you is public? This misconception County that just is public? It's public property means that the public can essentially do what they want on the No, Crawditor, you are arguing a point that has been debunked countless times and has been used countless times and failed countless times. Why don't you come up with something new to use instead of using the same tired old bullshit arguments dude i mean this is freaking ridiculous come up with something new challenge yourself to do something better do it better next time there's there's rules and regulations on the wall poster seven go take a look while we wait we're what not, is three of you guys we're not gonna wait okay we're not gonna look while we wait we'll wait for the supervisor but in the meantime you need to be aware that they don't want you on this property he did not say that so he told me that okay it's all on my body camera too. Right, feel we, we, free to. Feel oh, free to I'm do going to go get it. For Trust, it. we're going to go get it, sir, and, and dissect what you went in there and did. Access denied. Your pathetic, meaningless existence is not recognized. Yeah, I'm gonna step off because it's uh, let's go over here now because it's after five o'clock. I'm just gonna stand right here. So we got these guys. right here you know what i am just gonna end the video right here because this is just a sad pathetic display of frauditor stupidity he is still trespassed he still is made to leave yeah he's just a complete and utter total imbecile frauditor so you know what frauditor my suggestion to you is do the right thing and actually get a job rather than doing something like this. Or better yet, if you want to do uh, public photography uh, videos, those guys do make a killing on YouTube. They make buku bucks, but they don't harass people. They just go around uh, filming places that, uh, well, are really interesting. So you might want to try that out for once. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?